Hello, biology students. Let's jump into our first set of cell organelle notes. During these cell organelle notes, we need to gain a lot of information in a quick way that's organized. So we're going to use a big chart that should look a lot like the thing in your guided notes. You're going to have the name of the organelle, its job or function, keywords that help me remember it, whether or not that thing is in plants and or animals, an analogy that helps me understand it. And we should already have a picture there to help us identify it. On a test, you need to know not only the job, but also what it looks like. We also would want to understand things that we could relate to an analogy and whether or not it's in all cells. So all of these things are really important, so make sure you're paying attention. We're going to go pretty quick, and we're going to practice them a lot in class. Let's go. The first thing is one we're pretty familiar with, the nucleus. This is where the DNA is, and it's also where we just consider there to be a lot of genetic information or material. So for your notes, you're going to fill in the blanks right here that are in the job or function area. Some of it's filled in for you for making it quicker. You're going to want to fill in the keywords if they're missing. Sometimes they're there, but they'd be really good to highlight. Then we want to check, is it listed as animal or plant here it's listed as both all right and then we don't quite see the analogy here so we might see it in the next slide what is the analogy for the nucleus that's in the middle of all these cells that holds the dna let's go see remember the keyword was control center oh the nucleus is like the control room in a factory that's because the control room controls everything that's going on in the factory and gives a lot of directions. That's the same thing that a nucleus does in the cell because the nucleus has all the DNA that has all the instructions in the cell. So that's what we mean by an analogy and you're going to be doing analogies on your own too in class. Let's keep going. The next thing is the cell membrane. You might want to make sure in the picture you can see where your cell membrane is in your picture. You might want to highlight it. Cell membrane is also called plasma membrane. Both words will be used interchangeably. It is what controls what exits and enters. It's kind of like a bouncer or a guard in the cell. It can be found in both plants and animal cells, even though plants will have an extra thing on the outside. The Plasma membrane or cell membrane is like the doors of the factory. Why? Well, the doors allow things to enter and exit the factory, just like the cell membrane allows things to enter and exit the cell. Make sure you added your analogy and you've added missing words from that row. Let's move on. This one's super new to us usually. This is the Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus is in charge of packaging. It can also send proteins out of the cell. Here we see a picture. It looks like bread stacked on top of each other. I like to call it like pita bread if you've ever ate that kind of bread. Um, the key word out of here that I would highlight in my notes would be packages. It is found in both plants and animal cells. Knowing that the key word is packages, right, and those packages are these little bubbles coming off, let's think about what an analogy could be for our factory. Oh, in the factory, the Golgi body or apparatus is like the shipping area because that's where things get packaged off in a factory. So our analogies really help these things stick in our heads. So they're really important to jot down. Next, the mitochondria. The mitochondria is where food energy, food is turned into usable energy through the process of cellular respiration. The mitochondria is the shape of a bean, and it has these M folds in it. Those M folds are what help me remember M for mitochondria when I look at the shape. The key word is energy or powerhouse. Surprisingly, this is found in both plants and animals. This is a hard one to remember. I would highlight the both here for mitochondria for studying purposes. So knowing that this is a powerhouse, what is it maybe in my factory? Oh, it's like the furnace because that's where all the power is used or the electricity. Next, ribosome. Ribosome is in charge of making proteins. They are the little dots or freckles of the cell. Our keyword here is proteins. We find this both in plants and animals. Notice these little guys here. Mm -hmm. The ribosome is like the assembly in a factory because it is where something is made. This is a little harder of an analogy, all right, making sure we said that it makes proteins. In this case, what is the protein if these guys are the ribosomes? Oh, it's whatever they're making. I have no idea what that is that they're making. 
Next, six, the nucleolus. The nucleolus is located inside the nucleus. It's this eyeball looking thing. It's actually more tightly wrapped DNA. In that tightly wrapped area that kind of looks like an eyeball pupil, that's where ribosomes are made, the thing we just talked about. So the keyword here is ribosomes. Both plants and animals have this thing. We like to think of the nucleolus like the boss of the factory, since it's in charge of making those assembly line men or women, all right? Well, only a couple more this time. A chloroplast. A chloroplast uses the sun's energy to make food through photosynthesis. It also contains the pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green stuff in chloroplasts. I like to remember that chloroplasts look like a bean, just like mitochondria, but they have these pancake-looking structures. They are only in plants because plants do photosynthesis. Notice that we did not have an analogy for chloroplast, and it is blacked out on your sheet. Two more, rough endoplasmic reticulum. Well, this is like the highway of the cell. It transports things like proteins. But we call this the rough endoplasmic reticulum because it has those dots called ribosomes. And I think of them like sesame seeds on a bagel, and if I were to touch it, it would feel rough to the touch. This is in both plants and animals, and the keyword was transport. Really check this out. They look like their roads connected. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is very much the same, but this time it does not have ribosomes, which is why to the touch, smooth endoplasmic reticulum has that smooth texture no ribosomes. Since it doesn't have ribosomes, instead of transporting proteins that are made by the ribosome, it transports lipids. All right, great job, guys. That was a long one.